is Steve again. Uh, just pulled up to unit and trailer. Uh, so we're at Lippock Services on the A3. Uh, it's this Italian registered uh, truck and trailer. Uh, problems with the engine on this, it's knocking, so we've been asked to collect it by, uh, on behalf of Iveco. And it is uh, unloaded, so it makes a change really on the foreign trucks. So we've got an Iveco 480, this one. A little chat to the driver beforehand uh, to let him know if he wouldn't mind filming. He speaks a bit of English actually, he's quite a nice chat, friendly. So he said crack on, so here we are. So we've got a chance to do a bit of filming. Right, okay. Yeah, not too low these uh, Ivecos. The newer model's even lower actually, but it's not too bad, this older model. So plus he's empty as well. Yeah, we've got a couple of little journeys just pre-lifting this to say the part brake's been applied. Yeah, we've got a couple of little journeys with this one. The trailer's going to Reading and uh, the unit and the driver's going back to Farnborough. So we've got a two stop for this. So it's a fridge trailer, this one. So just doing our normal pre-lift. stands underneath as we always do so we can work safely in underneath quite a smart unit and trailer this one little shields and the lights I suppose to stop them getting uh, chipped right get a couple of forks a couple of chains while we're here Lamborghini going the wrong way around the services by looks things should have been going out not going in all right let's drop this down all right and get under in now the stands are there we go let's have a look see what we got there we go we can go straight up in there that'll do us Bring this in a bit. Poor slight smell of weed from underneath here. I don't think it's a driver, I think it's just where people stop off here and uh poor. Yeah, he's a bit strong, stop off here at night maybe and have a have a wee. Just gets just by the old tree into a little bin. Wonder if he smells a bit better this side. Well, people don't have a wee in the bushes or the services means they bought to pull out it's bloody laziness I suppose right anyway so we're just gonna go up inside the the U-bolt oh, right, there we go that side's just inside I might have to move the other one over a little bit Ooh. Yeah, it's definitely a pissy side. Right. There we go. There we go, we'll get that lifted. Don't lift it too high because sometimes with these uh, the trailers hit the catwalk. Let's go up a little bit more. There we go. Just a little bit more. Room to work underneath. Yeah, I think it's definitely the smelly side, that one. Alright.
set side down. Keep them as low as I can. Right. change around the axle over the top and coming into the sides there we go that's the front secured that's it I'll jump it leave it for a sec gonna have a look see which side the diff locks on because we're pulling the half shafts just want to know which side the diff locks located Let's crawl around the rear. Now we've got the stand. Here we got we've got a diff lock on this side. Electrics and the air pipes going, so we'll pull up. So we'll pull the offside half shaft just be a little bit easier. From refit that half shaft this side with a diff lock. Right. Right. Who's that? No, no, it's the engine. Yeah, yeah. You wish it was a flat tyre. Yeah, probably. Yeah. I think they use it as a toilet and all here, didn't they? Yeah, cool. <laughs> uh, God, below me. Right, we'll drop this down a little bit. Right, that'll do for a sec, we'll get that half shaft out next. We'll get some blue gloves. I'm busy day to day, I've got to clean my hand prints down the sides. It's been a bit of a rush to get to this uh, chap for Ivigo. There's a little way away from him. Traffic's pretty busy with the kids on school holidays on the motorway, so it took me a little while to get in here. Yeah, trailer's empty, he was saying, because he's uh, uh, unloaded and he was heading back to Italy, so. So he's got no load on at all. Keep our loads of me and trot over. Right, this is the R shaft we're pulling. So he's 24 mil, never been off before. So he's pulled the other side off. Paint's not been broken from the factory until now. I'll probably do a little bit of driving this one actually, from where it is to where we're going. A few little roundabouts and negotiate, so I might see if I can film through that. there quite well. Get rid of the bolts and come back with a bit of hammer. Disturb that silicon. I'll get that out. I'm gonna put it in the half shaft holder then. Right. bolt box here. Wonder what I've done with that. Alright, let's see if we can give it a pull save. Hitting it first. There we go. Straight out. coming up just a little bit on the channel. Right, 
pit bull around will stop that leaking. As you say it's all sealed so it won't leak out anymore from the sides. I'm gonna clean up here. Yeah, there's not roller bearings on this so I ain't got worried about putting a cover on this. Here we go. That's that done. Right. He's been here a while, this half shaft is cold. So he's been here a good few hours. Right. Probably working out who he needs to call or who's going to help him out. Just a little bit there. That's it, last little bit. That's it. That's okay now. Right. All right. This away. Yeah, big old diesel tank. He's probably one the other side as well. Yeah, yeah, not quite as big as you say with the exhaust system on there, but obviously fills up abroad. It's a bit be cheaper fuel than what it is over in the UK. Right, what should we do next? Right, let's get an airline in for the trailer next, I think. So it's palm couplings, I notice on this. The trailer, we get these out while we're. Oh, really? It's a red emergency one. That will supply the trailer with air. This is a service line, this will break the trailer. Let's get these rigged out. And use me long Susie's round that. Maybe I can run it all down one the other side, maybe. I need electrical Susie as well. All right. All right, that's one made up. And it's long enough to go right round the unit. So we try right. Give me electrical Susie. Using that rather than me coolest trailer board, so I can uh, use the marker lights on it as well. It's getting a little bit. It's not too bad at the moment, but the clouds are going, so it might be a bad bit of weather, it might catch on the route, so I can put the side lights on. Right, that's that done. Right. There's snow chains as well at the back. So he travels around Europe a bit. Right. Here we go. These have got three test points here, and they're actually in the Italian. He's not gonna, no good. He's not gonna ask him which one to go on. We go in, normally go in the middle one, but it probably says which one that does the whole air system. But normally the middle one tends to tends to go if you can't speak Italian. There we go. Here's going in. So by keeping that in, keeping the Susie lines, we're supplying the unit and the trail at this stage. You can hear the system building up. Okay. Well, I'm gonna take a few minutes, I imagine, because he's parked here a little while. Try to build up. Just gonna take the air brake off slowly. Let's see if we got. That's a good sign I can hear. Oh, here we go. Here we go. That's it. That's settled in. 
the brakes come off straight away. Right. We can pull that in again now. Make sure everything's rolling. Switching the drive wheels and the trailer wheels. Sometimes, if it gets low, it brings the trailer brakes on if he's been parked up here a while and he's lost his air. But and there we go, we're all rolling. That's fine. Bring this virtually all the way in actually on this. There we go. Checking the height of the catwalk. Just gotta run this line through here. And tidy that up a bit. Probably get to the air connectors this side as well, so. Right, which should we go first? Where's me, where's me air ones? Right, they're back. And that side opens up. So we can get to that one there. Yeah, one side probably opens up, one don't. One's got some little steps here for us to get into. Well, what have we got here? Is it a pool? Yeah, it's just a pool on here. Right, it's a little bit of a stretch over where the coupling is. God. This is the emergency trailer line. God. If you can get it off. Because you don't come off very often. in a little bit because that's gonna might catch the catwalk. A little bit of saliva on there might help it seat a bit better. And just where the trailer's a little bit angled. Oh. Look how I'm thinning it eh? It's a struggle otherwise. <laughs> All right, see if we can push it up so it's, it's got to go down, isn't it? and easy wasn't it? Right that's one connected. Right, the thing hang about this, don't this getting caught it up trapped underneath the trailer. We've got to go up on the slope right here. That's it. That's not leaking. That's sealed all right, and I think I can bring the other one around this side. I think should be able to manage that. All right. All right. 
same as the other one. That's clicked in. Right, let's connect that to my truck. So now we're breaking the trailer now. So we've got one airline going one, one way and one the other. Right? That doesn't matter. I can... Right. We've got a seven pin plug there. That will do the. Hold it there. That one can come round here onto there. Right, it's electrical Susie now. Up on the bloody motorway. At least you got a bit. You can hear yourself think. Right, we go. We've got side lights on. All down the side. We got hazard lights on mine. Right, hazard lights on mine. Hazard lights on the trailer. There we go. They're well maintained, isn't it? Decent spare wheel. Right. Right, let's tidy this up. Let's get some cable ties, I think. All right. I might be using me little bungees, maybe. I don't use many cable ties lately, so Steve can't moan. But give me some more. Right. Slap one Flapping a bit. Here we go. Got it on the wrong way, right? Yeah. There you go. Right, that's that one. Now we've got the blue one. She's just feeding uh, the unit. <sighs> Free lightweight line this is. Get in there. This is? Yeah. No problem. <laughs> Alright. That's this loose. Right, enough slack there. Right, just the other lever on the other side.
probably come down a little bit actually it's a little bit high up I'll drop that down a little bit all right let's put this on toe sign see if we've got anywhere to stick that anywhere no no oh the fault was there wasn't it all right, all right. there we go that would do us yeah we dropped that unit down a little bit a little bit high at the front or we could add some air on the back suspension but miss them uh, airlines there but, but that's, that's his airlines not mine Just do there we go The off shaft out a bit of blue roll in there stop any leaks got some pallets in there all the tires are all good put a check over it lights are working so I've run the electric Susie on today to say if the weather turns bad at least we've got some lights all around it rather than just a trailer ball at the back Right, we drop that down a bit. A bit, little bit of stone. Yeah, I think that's fine. I think it's just the camber as well that's making it look a bit higher in the front than what it normally sits. Right, that would do it. Okay, there. Okay, we're gonna hop in. There we go. There we go, we're all clear. Right. Thanks very much for watching so far. So I'm going to probably do a little bit of driving, getting on the, the A3 and a uh, few roundabouts to can Tenrith. And we've got a couple of different destinations to go to, so. It looks a bit higher up that side, I think, is where the, where Canberra is. But here we go. Thanks very much for watching us again. And uh, so we get on the route. Just sitting out from the, the services now. It's got to go a little bit left hand lock because that cab's a little bit near that tree. That's all. Lock to get <coughs> clear the tree. Right, on we go. Alright, oh, let's get some speed up a bit. left or around the roundabout and back on ourselves so we can have a little look see what see if it's doable with this on the back I've taken buses off this one but I don't think I've had a unit and trailer I'll have to have a little suss out really what's gonna be the best uh, option I oh, will go around that roundabout which we can do I'll we'll go left I think we'll stick the beacons on I think we go left and go out a little bit 
and round to that bollard. I think that's doable to go left. Flashing lights, and we've pulled a little bit over to the right that gives us a little bit of a. Here we go. Until the trailer's empty, anyway, I think we'll be alright with that. That's alright, it's only stopped for us. Yeah, we can do that alright. Inside the kerb. Inside the bullard. Round we come. There you go, weren't too bad after all. <laughs> A little bit concerned about that coming up there, but it's a bit more room than what I thought. This road uh, out to the Hogs Bank. We'll do the windows up now. Always like to have the windows down a little bit when you're doing anything of tight manoeuvres and that. got a bit of rush hour traffic so we just come off the M4 at Reading now so we're heading to where the trailer's going to be uh, dropped off and so we'll, we'll uncouple it and split it there and, and say the Iveco uh, track to you and it will be going back to dealership in Farnborough you say this is where the trailer's going to be dropped off Do a little bit of filming while we still had the trailer on the back. She's going down this little slip road now. A bit overgrown through here. see the trailer and come round. Plenty of room in this. Right. Okay, nice and quiet around here. And there you go, there's a trailer coming around. A little bird's eye view. Trying its way around. <coughs> sat now for a second on the right and somewhere down there we're going to drop it off I'm 
Let's get some flashing lights on. Hopefully you can see us here. Are you slowing down? That's all right, nothing's parked on the corner. Moving around. Probably there for the be it for now for the filming. I might do a little bit when we uh, just get the final bit. But you say we're gonna be turning into a company depot somewhere down here, so uh, we won't be able to film too much more than that now for now. So thanks for watching so far. Right, we're at the final de destination now. Uh, so with the tractor unit on the back. Uh, so you were a Vico farmer now. just about to unload it so I'll just show you quickly actually before I unload it that's the test points I use to blow air into it take it one must be the gearbox and one's probably air suspension but the middle one seemed to work it blew both uh, tanks up okay you say the only thing handy for people recovery wise maybe is uh, to show you the diff lock is on the near side of uh, SIV Costrelos so we've got two pipes going here. As you just say you can see it a bit clearly now, and say so we that's why we pulled the offside. And that's about it really. So we've got a trailer ball back on to tow him here. And uh, yeah, that's about it for now. Thank you very much for watching as always and uh subscribing to the channel. So it's been a while since uh I've had a video out, but I've hopefully got another one in the pipeline and uh yeah, I'll, I'll try and film what I can really, what I'm allowed to film, put it that way, but thanks a lot again for watching.